Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another quick look video where we look at various art books and magazines and today we're looking at this one which is an art book so I haven't looked at art books for quite a while but this one, I can't wait to get into this one it's called I Love Drawing Fabulous Figures by the artist Jane Davenport so let's go and have a look at this one So little Bonnie's with us for this one and she's going to help us get inside of it. So the first thing is, I think the cover's cool. I like the way the um, the dress is like, it feels like the dress is a world or something. Like this is a, this lady is like the earth as a, as a female or something. Yeah, it's quite cool and that's a beautiful one as well. Fun loving techniques for creating fanciful, fashionable and fantastical females. Lots of Fs. So I haven't looked in this one before. I had a little little look in the, I think it was the second hand shop I got this one. This is the first time I've really been in this. So let's go. Boing. <laughs> oh, straight away I'm loving the, um, I'm loving the art style. Beautiful it is. This reminds me of, there's a video game, what was it called, Project Eden, I think it was, like the, the spiritual success, successor to Res HD, and it had a video like this, in that sort of style. These are cool, these are. I like the way they've got long legs. Oh, it's, it's really beautiful. So what have we got? We've got 10 chapters. We've got Material, M Material Girl. I'll give you my heart, Sweethearts. Oh, it looks like we're going to have lots of different, lots of different, like, girls in different outfits or something. Hello! This is Jane Davenport. She looks a bit like the, um, her outfit's a bit like the lady on the front. I like that. She looks like a character, a cool character she does. Material girl. I have a, I have a condition I call Rainbow Titus. It's the compulsion to collect and use art supplies. <laughs> She's beautiful. Make your mark. Oh, this must be all about um, the materials. Material girl. Little doggy there, look. I wonder if the doggy did the painting. <laughs> It'd be quite funny. She's got a bonkers um, art studio. Lots of colour everywhere. She loves colour. Look at the way those cheeks are like um, blended in. Yay! I give you my heart. I believe there are no rules in art. But some guidelines sure do help. I like this little character. She's got little like pointy legs, look. <laughs> quite... This is beautiful, she is. Using heart lines makes it easy to create dynamic figures like this. Oh, uh, look, what she's done is... Look, the, um... It's like two hearts. The figure is two hearts. How cool is that? That's how you get the nice shape, the sort of sexy, curvy shape. Oh, that's brilliant. I've never seen this before. I've never seen anyone do this before. That's quite genius, that is. Little heart throbs. I like the way their legs are like little um, sticks or something. I mean, how cool is that look? Absolutely beautiful she is. And that's all done with hearts. What I like about it being hearts is it's like she's putting love into the character right from the beginning. With just a little, um, the, what, what I call the big bastard basic shapes. <laughs> so these, these big bastard basic shapes are hearts. So the character is based off of hearts, even the head look. I 
I really like these characters. And I like how scribbly they are. These ones, I think the heads are a bit too big for me. I'm not, I'm not keen on the big heads. But I like the way she's um, painting, like the way she's, the style of her sort of brush strokes and things. And she's mixing in, I like the way she's mixing in colour with um, like the, the pen. These little things are cool. I could imagine these sort of um, dancing around. Give your heart, get your heart moving. Drawing water. So she's going to go through the how she gets the the cool style. These are so beautiful they are. I like that it's only one colour as well. Each character is like one little colour. That reminds me of a quality street wrapper. Yeah. Oh, these are nice colours. That's my sort of colours, that is. Like nature colours. They feel like goddesses. These feel like mermaids. And these feel like sort of um, party girls to me. Oh, what? I'd love to see her. I wonder if she's got any videos or something on YouTube. I'd love to see her actually putting these together. Look at that, look. The movement. She's still got hearts in the... Even on the side view. Those arms are like Terminator. That T-1000 in Terminator 2. There's beautiful feeling in these characters. <laughs> look at that one, look. Big eye. Beautiful. Lovely colours. Love the big eyes on that one. She looks a little bit sort of lonely as well. I feel like you sort of want to go and give her a hug or something. Head start. What's this one about? I draw drawing faces. Probably my favourite part of being an artist is drawing eyes. Yeah, eyes are cool. For me, I like drawing hair. I've always found hair the most fun thing to draw. Because for me, hair is like alive. The, the hair is like a character. That's what I think. But Jane Daven Davenport, she likes drawing eyes. Look at the way that neck's like really... Almost like their head reminds me of a tree. Like a tree swaying in the wind. Look at these little faces, look. They're beautiful. The details. Three little witches. Yeah, hair. You control the gravity in your drawn world, so if your hair is big, bouncy and brightly coloured, go for it. That's what I mean, hair's... she's nice. Look at the colours bouncing off of this book. Oh, cool, look, she's drawn... she's turned hair into, like, fruit. A bunch of grapes. That's a bit like a candy floss thing. <laughs> I like this little little character here as well. Look, even these are beautiful. Just the basic. Oh, what a cool artist! Siamese twins. Body of work. There is no substitute for drawing from real life. I wonder if this is going to be like life drawing. Look at the neck she does, look. 
really long necks. For me, they're too long. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not keen on the long necks. Huh, that doggy's doing the same poses as the lady. Oh, this is a nice one. I like that one. Handy reference. <laughs> Fingertips. Strongly believe it's important to practice drawing more complex hand poses by looking at a reference. That reminds me of some sweets from my childhood. You used to get these little... They were like little, well they looked like that, little candy things they were. Oh, I love this one. Yeah, there's a feeling of sort of, I want to say sadness, but it's a nice feeling of, sort of, it is like a loneliness feeling. That's what I'm thinking. Look, I mean, look at that. They're beautiful. And this one. I like the outfit as well. Pinching and pulling. <laughs> Strut your stuff, look. I mean, these are nice. These little sketches. But I like this one. I like the. I like. I like everything about that one. Especially like her outfit. Another nice one, look. Backstory, she's talking about the back now. Beautiful. Dress, dress rehearsal. Yeah, I really want to see, I want to see this artist. Like the, I want to see this artist and the video putting these together. Dress for success. Such a cool artist. It's like she's doing different sort of styles, but somehow they're all the, the same. Highs and lows. Yeah, I like it. That's like um, Space Channel 5. <laughs> like her shoes. Made in the shade. Drawing with colour allows us to add volume and excitement. You see that, like this sort of hint of sadness in the characters, which I like that because it makes you want to sort of hug them. It's wearing little tights, look. Now that's beautiful. That is. I love. Look at the shapes, look. Big round sexy shape. Oh, I'd imagine I could I could imagine me cutting that out and putting it on the wall. Reminds me a bit of an apple that the bum there. Like you sort of a nice a nice apple. Big round apple. Collage collage education. <laughs> oh, I like this one here. She's my favourite one. Tattoos as well, look. Little personal message for you. Thank you.
No, thank you. Look at that, look. So, that's like a river. I love that we end with a very sort of deep... That's the thing, I think. Yeah, there's a lot of sort of deep emotions in um, these characters. There she is again, look. Very hey, cool, we've got some stickers at the back, look. Oh, yeah, we've got some stickers. We've got a load of stickers. What's in here, then? Oh, I bet there's something in there. But it's not in there now, I don't think. Whatever was in there has gone. I wonder what that was. I bet it was a heart. That's what I think. I'm so glad we've got the stickers, though. Oh, I'd never use them, though. I'd keep them in there. Well, that was brilliant. I love drawing fabulous figures by Jane Davenport. <laughs> so Bonnie the Bunny, she loved that one. She really enjoyed it. I hope you did as well. And what I loved most about this one was, firstly, the, the way it's exploding with colours. There's just colours all over the place on this one. I feel like the characters are really sexy, but they've got this sort of shyness about them as well. Which, I don't know, I just find it quite... It makes me sort of want to sort of like hug the characters. And I always love that feeling when you want to sort of hug the characters. <laughs> but I think my favourite thing about this art book is how Jane Davenport, she bases her characters around hearts. So what it means is, right from the, right from the start, there's like love in these characters. And it's almost like that heart flows through through the characters so I thought it was brilliant so I really hope you enjoyed that and I shall see you later for another one